So I just read Lehman Russ, The Great Wolf by Chris Wright, and it was pretty good. The story of the book is actually quite complex, especially considering the majority of the book is a flashback, told by Lehman Russ. The main topics, however, are the animosity towards the Dark Angels, the Wolfen Curse, and Space Wolf culture in general. There's also the war against the Doolan Empire, but this functions more as a stage on which the other events can take place. Needless to say, this book tries to do a lot in a very limited amount of pages. As a result of this, the book contains a lot of cool lore for Space Wolf fans, but it also made the first half of the book a bit hard to get through. See, the book sets up all these story arcs during the beginning, and progress only really starts happening during the second half of the book. Not to mention, as a Filthy Thousand Sons sympathizer, I was quite unfamiliar with all the Fembrisian terms, so that took me some time to get used to as well. But I'm happy I kept on reading, because the second half of the book is definitely worth struggling through the first half for. The big highlight of this book has to be the origin of the animosity between the Space Wolves and the Dark Angels. The book takes its time to really build up towards the legendary fight between the Lion and the Wolf, with every event contributing towards further hostility between the brothers until eventually they decide to, well, brawl it out, leading to a rivalry between two legions that would last for over 10,000 years. The rivalry between these two Primarchs is really cool, as we learn a lot about their fundamentally different beliefs. If you're a Dark Angel fan, this book is worth checking out just for the interactions alone in my opinion. Not to mention, the actual fight is very epic as well. Because of these interactions between Russ and the Lion, but also during the interactions he has with our Space Wolves, Lehman Russ is fleshed out very well. Lehman isn't just a barbarian, he also cares very deeply for his legion and holds his idea of honor in high regard as well. In a way, he's a bit like Ned Stark from Game of Thrones. But not just Lehman is fleshed out really well, I also really like the portrayal of the lion in this book. Another great thing is the symbolism and the foreshadowing. I won't mention exactly what happens, but there's a certain void battle that's one of the coolest moments of foreshadowing I've read so far. The book manages to foreshadow not only the burning of Prospero, but also the fallen in one scene that's not even related to either one of those events. Then there's the interactions between the Space Wolves and of course the Wolfen Curse. I really liked how the Wolfen Curse was integrated into the story. The Wolfen are so feral that even the Space Wolves are ashamed of their existence, and this leads to quite some tension within the Legion. Wright really manages to make the most of this, and at the start of the Wolfen subplot you might be wondering where the hell he is going with this, but again, it really pays off in the end. The thing that really drags this book down is the structure. The first and the last chapter act as a meta-story, during which the Wolf tells the flashback, that is the four other chapters. Then within those four chapters, the first half is just spent on setup and fight scenes. Again, this made the start quite difficult to get through, and then during the ending we get this weird, extremely rushed story about the adventures of the guy Lehman was talking to. So I feel like the book would have been better if it had either been a bit longer, or if Wright had just left out the story about this random space wolf Lehman is talking to. To end on a positive note, I also really like the space wolf culture in this book. The author really manages to create this vibe of Viking packs sailing across the galaxy, and I definitely appreciate the sixth a bit more after reading this. The extremely disciplined and almost statue-like Dark Angels also serve as perfect contrast to the wild wolves of Fenris, which made their image all the more vibrant. All in all, this book gets 4 out of 5 like library stars. It's a very rewarding and epic story once it gets going, which does justice to both Primarchs and their legions. If you like the Space Wolves or the Dark Angels, then this is definitely a good recommendation for you. Then on to the tier list. The Great Wolf, with 4 stars, arrives just below Alpharius, and while well, quite a lot above Gilliman. Again, we have too little entries to currently say much interesting, but we're slowly getting there. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Bye!